Thank you so much viewer for listening to me here today and welcome back to my channel. This is 20 minute engineering solutions. Okay, today we'll discuss about the MAM 680, the screw compressor controller. How to set the pre pressure, it's all I will describe you about the block diagram of the compressors. I'm indicating now, you can see the picture here, the air exhaust and the, the filter is going to the screw compressor and I'm indicating this is the screw and this is the main model. And this is the set button, and this is the down button, this is the up button, this is the inter button, and this is the ESC button. You can see the picture in here, all the function uh, I am sharing. And now, this is the program set button. You can see the uh, next, there is uh, the button, and, and then the up button, and then the right button. Last one is reset button. So, you can see the, how the programming set, the set PT, and the inter button. The load pressure, I can say the load pressure in here. So if, if you want the right button again and then enter the password. Before entering the password, you must need to back to the setting to the, you can see the picture in here. The the run parameter, this is the this is the factory setting. You need to put the password, that is the 8019. How to set the load pressure and under pressure. So this is the password, 8019. After that, you can say it. And then back to the the customer setting. Is it set the PT? If you want to set the PT, so the load pressure, you can now edit in your options. So you can see the blinking of the zero and 0, 0. 0.00.73. You can automatically now you can uh, edit the function. So if you want to change the value, 0. 0.73 MPA means the megapixel. That means the 7.3 bar. So I want to save my as per my requirement or as per my design that is the 0 0.73. So I put this similar value that, that is the load pressure 0 0.73 MPA. That means 7.3 bar. So now the unload pressures you can see that in here the set value is 0 0.80 MPA. That means 8 bar. So I want to change my value. If you want to change your value, so you can the go to the steady button and then set the interpression is 0.91 or as per your requirement so the LP pressure in the low pressure so setting so you can automatically you can uh, change your version from the after putting the uh, the inter password so now the unload pressure is 0 0.80 now the set value is uh, over so say PT and the customer set value so the air pressure 73 air pressure 0 0.76 and uh, the normal stuff so if you want to start the the compressors you can see the picture the starting uh, the wait for two seconds three seconds one second now it, it's running the load loading condition 0 0.77 for load con full load condition so you can see the picture in here now the 0 0.78 in full load conditions now unloading you can see 0 0.77 it's in it some uh, malfunctioning so if you want to set button as uh, a minimum set bill and maximum set bill minimum set bill 0 0.73 and maximum set bill for 0 0.80 so now the set, or the, this, the you can see the the host start, the fan start, and the start delay and the load start delay, fan start delay and start delay. So if you want to delay the start, so you can set the put value. So now the one of the mode near load mode auto mode and the compressor set. So now if you want to set the second option, the clear lifetime of this filter, you can see the filter, oil filter, this is air filter, the low oil filter, this is low oil filter and grease. You can see the next one. This is the grease in filter. The lifetime is of the the filter is grease. You can see 0 0.76 hour. So you can see uh, as per your design, if you want to set again, if you want to release or change the oil filter, low oil filter, or grease filter uh, greasing, so you must need to clear the lifetime of this of this filter. Then you can automatically change your version. Otherwise, you cannot change the value. So you must need to put the password also. So now the maximum lifetime of this oil filter, low oil filter and this filter, you can see the 2000 hour. After 2000 hour, the automatically filter is lifetime is ending. Then the HMI control is showing the alarm. After alarm showing, you can just, you need to change this value. So before need this, uh, before changing value, you must need to enter the password. So you can see then uh, in the next one, this is the run parameter you can see the motor current so when the motor is run that is showing the main motor run current and then fan motor current so now they stop mode so there is no power and then the showing in this current so next one this is you can see the picture in here total running hour the compression loading hour they did to total run hour and total loading time hour so and the next one you can see this is the run time is also the 
So you can see the picture in here. If you want to change the value, if you want to check the value, you can check this from here. The maintenance set, you can see. That I mean, under inter button, then you say the oil filter, lube oil filter, and the air filter maintenance set. This is all up setting in here. Now the details are including in here for for better understanding. If you want to change the values, you're going to change. So now the air temperature is 76 degrees centigrade, air pressure 0.76 MPa, and auto loading conditions cool the air. So now the loading conditions after temperature increasing, air temperature is 80. The automatically fan cooler is running. You can see the picture on the bottom side. Yeah, run fan is running because the temperature is close the 80 degrees centigrade. The behind the temperature again below the 75, the automatically fan is stopped. You can see the picture in here the within short time you can see the minimum set value is 0 0.73 and maximum 0 0.8 so lower set value if, if the, uh, the the still the compression is running because the 0 0.79 when they are going to touch the 0 0.8 they are automatically going to be unload conditions now it's still still the air pressure is 0 0.79 mpa auto loading conditions so still this is running so you can the air temperature also the 71 degree centigrade you can see the unloading condition uh, that value is showing to the thank you